An elementary school teacher is out of a job and behind bars tonight. The Chattooga County teacher was arrested during an undercover investigation into online child predators. Well, Fox Eyes Brian Hill has a reaction from the school district and more on who else was arrested. Jeremy Bowman, who you see here behind me, is one of six men Floyd County Police and other law enforcement agencies arrested as part of Operation Save Christmas. The superintendent with Chattooga County Schools confirms that he was a teacher at Lyerly Elementary School. These are the six men arrested during Operation Save Christmas. The operation is designed to locate predators who have communication with minors, then travel to meet them for sex. With knowing that our um, local children were going to be on break coming up, we wanted them to be just a little safer when they are at home during the break. During this three day operation, investigators tell us they had more than 200 exchanges with the men using various social media or Internet platforms. Jimmy Bowen, Jeff White, Giovanni Ortega, Norman Gentry, Adam Broderick and Jeremy Bowman are all charged with obscene Internet contact with a child, among other charges. I can't say that I necessarily expected the the amount of um, people that travel to meet the children. It is something that I think was a benefit for to our community because I think our children are going to be safer because of it. Bowman was a second grade teacher at Lyerly Elementary School in Chattooga County, according to the school's website. The 44 year old resigned from his position after his arrest. According to this agenda from Monday night's school board meeting, it cites personal reasons for the decision. No profession is immune from from possibly having a person that is preying on our children. In a statement to Fox 5 News, the district superintendent says in part, I have been made aware of a situation concerning the arrest of a teacher from Lyerly Elementary School. We are cooperating and providing assistance as requested from law enforcement. As far as a parent, I think just being involved, being nosy, looking into what apps they're using, what um, social media platform. In some cases, the predators reportedly exposed themselves or requested the child take nude or pornographic images for them. Bowman is still in jail right now. Investigators believe additional charges and arrest could be coming as they continue their investigation. Brian Hill, Fox 5 News.